Explain like I'm five why do we need so much protein? I just started exercising moderately and looked up my protein need. According to online calculators I need about 180 grams of protein a day. If I were to get this solely from cow meat, I would need to eat 800 grams a day which just seems like copious amounts. Cow's meat contains about 22 oc protein. And my guess is that my muscles contain roughly the same. So how can my protein need be the equivalent of upwards of 1 kilogram of muscle a day? Just seems excessive. You don't need that much protein. You'll still build muscle without eating such a high amount. If you're lifting weights a lot with the goal of getting swole AFASAP then such a high amount might be beneficial. But you do not need that. You will build muscle just fine as long as you are eating some protein. I would recommend that you just eat some food that has protein in it and don't worry about it. Why would you pick steak? One of the highest calorie meats for your protein content. That is over 2k calories of steak. There are much better foods for protein sources that will reduce your caloric intake. Well getting your day's protein from a single source would be very strange, right? Bodybuilder here. If you're building muscle in you exercise training then you're looking for min of 0.7 grams of protein per LB of your body weight a day and max of 1 gram of protein per pound of your body weight a day. So if you're 200 pounds that would look like between 140 grams 200 grams of protein per day. No need yo consume more than 1 gram per pound a day. You can't absorb that much protein anyways. And remember you're just starting out so it's alright to make mistakes. Just try to keep up with it. Good luck dude. It's really about your fitness goals. Since I'm trying to build muscle I aim to consume about 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. For the AVG person that is just looking to stay fit or lose fat protein intake isn't nearly as important as focusing on a caloric deficit. So a few people have given great information about how many grams of protein you should be consuming. Another thing to consider is that you won't be consuming your protein from a single source. You'd be surprised the amount of protein in healthy diet. Broccoli, grains, cherries, all have small amounts of protein. They do add up. If you select high protein veggies and grains for your diet you won't have to resort to massive quantities of meat. You absolutely do not need that much protein. Where did you see that? On websites selling protein powder. Protein builds muscle. You need that much protein if you're weight training and want to build a lot of muscle. If you aren't or you don't. That much protein is excessive. LPT check out chicken for meeting protein goals. The protein to calorie ratio in chicken breast is insanely good. 800 grams of beef would be about 280 grams of protein 35 grams of protein per 100 grams of beef so thankfully you don't need that much. But the short answer is that while 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight is what's recommended for a healthy adult. It's not required. Lots of healthy people around the world eat maybe half that. It's important to get enough protein as it's essential for muscle and bone regeneration. If you're doing light exercise, you won't need much. If you're doing heavy workouts, you need more because of the amount of stress you're putting on your body. They are just building blocks. Amino acids are key. Even then you can only process so much. You're much better off getting probably 100,120 and eating complex carbs and a calorie surplus. How heavy are you? 
180 grams per lean mass you have is excessive unless you're jacked or like 300 pounds. For most folks 60 of body weight lean mass is enough. Basically 50 of body weight to be healthy. 70 80 if you're lifting. And 100,000 120 if you're trying to be a bodybuilder. Some of these takes are kind of misinformed and asinine. Simply put, if you use the right calculations, which a lot of people have said, then the protein intake can still be more than you need but the point is that you make sure your body has protein to build muscle and recuperate. The requirement every day is not always the same exact number. So overcompensating by a little bit is better for growth than otherwise. You don't. You need about half of that. The fitness community and meat dairy lobbies have created this idea that we need so much more protein than truly necessary. You don't. That's how you wind up with kidney stones. Only bodybuilders strongman competitors need tons of calories and protein. If I remember right from nutrition studies average 200 pounds person only needs like 40-60 grams a day. Also being extremely overweight really Fs up those calculators. You probably don't need that high of an amount but it is important to eat quite a bit. If you are exercising heavily you could have excessive muscle soreness for days if you don't get enough protein. My nutrition and diet coach suggested 1 gram of protein per pound of goal weight to lose weight. My goal is 200 pounds. So I need to consume about 200 grams of protein. That includes post-workout protein and shakes. You need about 55 grams of protein per day. Not 180 grams unless you're 225 kilograms 500 pounds. You must have mixed up units or something using the calculator. Protein is overstated in American diets particularly. Also tofu is the goat source of protein. It turns out that you really only need to take in lots of protein if you're a professional athlete. Or are doing some really heavy bulking. Most people already take in too much protein and their body just can't make use of it. There's also evidence that it causes us to produce more nitrates. Completely safe for us but bad for the environment. Basically just avoid bro science and you'll be fine. You don't. No one does. No animal does. All of the largest, most powerful animals on the planet are all vegetarians. Have you ever heard of anyone dying from not having protein? Maybe a B12 deficiency but not protein your body makes it. No one knows exactly why. The recommendations you are seeing are based on experience and science to figure out how much protein works. If you are exercising moderately as you say, you don't need the protein intake of a bodybuilder or powerlifter. There is nothing moderate about those. If you already ate healthy, you don't even need to make changes to your diet outside of appeasing your raised hunger to see changes in your body. Protein is the building blocks of muscle. When you exercise, your muscles tear and need to be repaired by your body. But your body can only use the protein it has available to it when it needs to repair those muscles. High protein intake high amount of building blocks to repair said muscle. Pregnant women eat a lot because they are literally building a person. So are you. Only you're building adult-sized parts. Not infant-sized parts. That's going to take a lot of building food which is what protein is. If it helps you any you can pretty much pick what you actually want to eat for protein. Then find something on the internet that backs up your decision. Probably just within this post alone already even.